One day, a weightlifting competition in ancient China had an unexpected guest. Bonjour, I am Birch de Gobertin. Are these the gears for today's competition? Wait, what's with the massive wooden stick? This is a gate bar from the city gate. Did you know that one of the ancient Chinese names for weightlifting is Qiao Guan, lifting the bar? Yep, this is the guan or bar that they must raise every day. Am I lifting this the right way? Some tackle it by the two handles, while others make use of a bar. Just a foot off the ground counts as success. Easy peasy, right? Easy for you to say. The father of the modern Olympics, Pierre de Coubertin, is about to give a shot at lifting this tripod. This is all new to him. Will he pull off a miracle? No luck this time, but he wasn't too far off achieving success. He's got it off the ground. But wait, it's not quite high enough. It needs to be a foot off the ground. So close, though. Just a bit more. Wow, he's done it! In China, if you want to say someone is as strong as our friend Pierre de Coubertin here, you can use this idiom: 力能扛顶 It means being able to lift something as heavy as a tripod. Which requires tremendous strength. In fact, weightlifting isn't just about physical strength; it's a testament to unwavering determination. Whether athletes work with wooden, stone, or iron objects in ancient China, or modern barbells of varying weights, they have always been pushing their limits. So, when we use the idiom 力能扛顶 as a compliment, we're not only applauding someone's physical strength, but also acknowledging their relentless pursuit of self-improvement and greater achievements. Thank you, Masuk Pierre de Coubertin, for joining us on this incredible journey through time. Looks like my adventure in traditional Chinese sports is winding down for now. I've had such fun trying out these fascinating activities. They've given me loads of inspiration. If possible, I'd love to get a chance to dive even deeper into Chinese culture, a little down the road. <laughs>